Hey everybody, get you some here. I'd like to uh, give you a little update on some bio settings and um, tell you some things that have went on with this uh, PAP67 Deluxe from ASUS. Mine has not fared very well as far as uh, just controllers on the board just going crazy. I mean, I, my first uh, two DRAM slots, A1 and AB, are not working now. And my X16 PCI slot has also went dead. And I mean, I was running the 1204 BIOS, and um, all of a sudden some crazy things started happening. It was blue screen and giving me I/O st store errors and memory management errors. So uh, I flashed to BIOS 1305, and my board just locked up. It wouldn't do anything, but I uh, I was able to finally get it back up and running with uh, a whole day of trying almost everything I could think of but um, I, uh, I took out all the RAM from all the RAM slots uh, pulled the video card out of the X16 slot took out the CMOS battery and um, went and took a shower came back a half hour later or so then I uh, discharged the power by pressing the power on the case for about five seconds and then on the back of the board, I uh, stuck a little nail in the hole and cleared the CMOS. Tried the RAM in the in the A what is it A2 B2 slots, the blue ones, and it did not post. So I um, I put the RAM in the last two slots, cleared the CMOS, put the video card GT uh, EVGA GTX. Uh, 465 super clocked into the the second PCI slot which gives me 8 on the bandwidth now and uh, cleared the CMOS and uh, plugged up and booted up and uh, went into the BIOS and changed the date and time and it, it was doing fine it, it was locking up on me before just freezing up wouldn't do anything I mean and uh, then I set up my RAD array and uh, changed some BIOS settings and installed Windows 7 Ultimate Alienware back on and it seems to be running fine right now. But um, I just haven't had any luck with this board. I mean, I had nothing but issues with it. I'm not saying that ASUS is bad, don't get me wrong, but this new uh, version 3 board that they're going to the replacements that are coming out soon, I'm sure it'll it'll work just fine it's, I, I have no idea I'll show you some settings here that are freaking me out I don't know if CPU Z is this or what's going on but hold on one sec okay I don't know if y'all can see that very well but here where is it which one is it it's my RAM is set in the BIOS at 999.24 two times, and here CPU Z is saying 66620. I have no idea what's going on. I mean, my, with this new 1305, when I got it up and running, I changed to some offset voltages, and I mean, this thing does great with this new uh, B3 micro code they had installed it. I'll show you the changes, but, you know, as you can see, I can't use my RAM slots, the first two, and I have the piece, and the graphics card installed on the second slot. I mean, this thing is just, I don't know what went on with it, but I'm waiting for it to start sparking any day now. I wouldn't doubt it. Let me get into the BIOS and I'll show you some uh, some settings that I've changed. It still double boots, I mean. See, there's one ASUS screen. There 
players too. It, it shouldn't be doing that. And the drift issues still continue with uh, Microsoft Wireless 3.1 receivers on your wireless keyboard and mouse. I can't use my mouse at all. And the keyboard is just, it's hit and miss, man. You be on one topic, on one section here, and thinking you're changing numbers, and it, uh, it'll, it'll jump around on you like mad. But, uh... Here we go. Set your AI overclock to manual. Keep the B clock at 100. Buy all cores in the OS. 45 on the on the turbo ratio. Disable PLL voltage. Uh, run your RAM at whatever your frequency 1600, 1866, 2000, whatever it might be. And set your timings into the. Uh, see how it jumps around like mad. Set your DRAM to whatever it is. Mine. The XMP profile told me 99924 two times. So that's what I got mine set at. I mean, if you don't know, just hit the XMP profile up top and it'll pretty much. Okay, now here's some change. Set your load line calibration to regular. Keep your VRM at 300. Do a manual and make sure it's at 300. Phase control extreme, duty control extreme. And the offset voltage. Keep it at an offset voltage at plus. And I have mine at 0 0.40. I mean, it seems that I love this overclock. It on, on when it hits max. I mean, I was running 1.31 to straight voltage, and it was stable as heck before the with the 1204 BIOS. But this, it barely hits 1.3 volts on four uh, on 4.5 gigs. So I kind of like that. I don't know why I got my DRAMs. Oh, my PLL voltage is, uh... Yeah, change your uh, CPU PLL voltage to 1.55 volts. Keep your DRAM at the stock speeds or your rated speeds. Now, on this 1305 BIOS, it has... All the C states are set to auto. So I just enabled them, the bottom three. And uh, anything you're not going to use on your onboard device configuration, you know, disable. I'm not using the Bluetooth at the moment, so it's disabled. Firewire's disabled. Marvel controller, I think it's shit anyway, so I disabled it. And um, the Realtek LAN, I disabled. And uh, I'm on a water cool setup, so ignore the CPU fan air. And this reboot, I don't, I, I'm afraid to mess with anything on this board because after a day and a half of trying to get it up and stable, it uh, I'm afraid to make any more changes to it to tell you the truth. <laughs> I just hope it gets me through to the replacement board to come out and I'll go from there and see what see what happens but uh, I have had some bad luck with this thing I mean after a week of running the 1204 BIOS after benchmarking with Prime and Intel burn test and mem test everything came back great and I mean then all of a sudden BAM it just started going array man I, I, I couldn't explain it but then after the flash to the 1305 BIOS the, the board was bricked it was locked up it, it would not do anything but uh, if y'all are having the same problems and uh, I'd like to hear your comments on uh, see what y'all are doing with it alright this here is get you something y'all have a good day now